hey it's brandy janae welcome to my channel if you are new welcome back if you're returning in today's video i have a quick sticker haul from karina loves to plan i just had to show you even though this envelope is disgusting had to show you because my name is beautiful and then i also have this order from jet pins so if you're interested in seeing this video please be sure go ahead and like it subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and i'll be back Okay, thank you again for stopping by. Again, my name is Brandy Janae, and on this channel, we pretty much go through all things planner related. I do also have a teacher's YouTube page because I am a preschool teacher. So if you are interested in seeing more about that, then go ahead and check out that channel. I'll leave it in the description below. So first, again, we have this Happy Mail from Karina Loves to Plan. I love how she wrote my name. I'm like, I wish... I'm going to try to figure out how to, like, cut this out. Um, I hate that the envelope got so dirty in the process of this, but I'm totally going to see if I can figure out how to cut my name out because I just think it's so beautiful. Her hand lettering is gorgeous. So from her, I ordered an Oops bundle in the clear matte. And then the books collection, which is also in a clear matte. Because I am like really feeling this whole clear matte vibe lately. So I'm going to show you the books collection first. So here is one page. Look how gorgeous that is. The paint swatches, photo circles, and then the quotes and book washi. So I recently stumbled upon her YouTube channel which I believe is also Karina loves to plan. And um, I just love how she used everything. I love how she put it all together. And so I'm like, oh, I want to do that. So I just, yeah, this, this clear matte sticker paper is like everything to me. I kind of want to pick one up so I can show you just in case you're not familiar with the clear matte. So you see it's literally like, clear but not like completely see-through so i love when she plans she uses these she'll write something and then she'll use these as like little highlighters so she'll put it over top of the writing which i just think is brilliant and i've seen her use her stick the circles a lot for like layering things so i'm excited to use those i do absolutely love books even though i don't read nearly as much as i would like to but i do love books and then this is the freebie and it just says spooky it's one of the words and then of course we have the cute little icons i really like these florals and but this is on the regular white like sticker paper so and then this is the oops bundle so we got these flowers which are gorgeous these poppies and i don't really oh i guess the cutting is a little off I was like, I don't even see where the oops is. Yeah, so the cutting is a little off, but I feel like because they're a clear matte, it probably won't be as noticeable, but they are gorgeous. Anyway, then we have the Poppy's paint swatches to match. So love that. Watercolor fall leaves. Cute. Ooh, the leaf swatch. I love this matching stuff. That's awesome. The leaf swatches leaf circles <laughs> don't stop believing i think she's the one that says she likes these like dad joke type quotes so <laughs> that's cute then we have the watercolor daisies those are so pretty i love the i just love this watercolor look i don't know if she designs these herself like if she draws them or not but i just i think they're gorgeous then you have the daisies paint swatches and then the sunflowers, oh my goodness, sunflowers are gorgeous too with the sunflower swatches. And I do see this one where the ink kind of rubbed off a little bit, but I feel like that just adds a little charm to it. So literally these are like mini kits just all in of themselves. Um, I will more than likely probably use these more in... I don't know. I was going to say in my Hobonichi weeks, but I don't know. I, I think they can be used 
in both planners and I may even literally just use them in both. I don't know, but either way, I love them. So thank you, Karina, for getting these shipped very quickly. She's in, her shop is in Canada, but they still got here surprisingly fast and I'm really excited about that. And I love, love, love my name. So I'm gonna definitely see if I can figure out how to preserve that. And I'm dropping everything, my bad y'all. All right, so up next, I got this order from Jet Pins because somebody said, you need to order a pin. Nobody said that. I, again, was watching the video and I saw it and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to enjoy using for my Hobonichi. Let me get some scissors. And I've never actually ordered from Jet Pins before, so, but I always hear people talking about it and I am like a pin lover. So I figured I would give it a shot and I got a pretty good deal on all of these. It ended up being 12 pins. I don't remember how much I spent, but I know that it wasn't like too, too much. So, but I ordered this pin, which is the Pintail Calm. And I just thought it was super cool. The, the coolest thing about it was just how quiet the click is. I think that's really fancy. It does feel really good. And so I ordered that in this white and it is a 05. And then this is the calm as well in the 07, but it's the like multicolored one. So I believe that's probably black. Hmm, how do I put it back? Okay, there we go. And then there's blue and then there's red. Yeah. All right, so, oh, and then I ordered just the extra black ink in the 07 to go in the 05 because I wasn't sure which one I would like, so I just got both of them. And then I got the Sarasa in the vintage color, the Sarasa Clips, because again, I've been seeing a lot of people using these and the colors to me are just gorgeous. So there's five of these. And then I ordered a pin bundle. This is a ballpoint pin bundle because from what I've also been told, the ballpoint pins are like the absolute best pins for the Hobonichi. So in case I don't like any of these gel pins, I figured why not just have a ball pin and hopefully I can find one that I absolutely love. So this is a Zebra BP F301 in a 0 0.7. It's nice, but it looks like a, kind of looks like a basic work pen, so I don't know. But it is nice looking. Forget my ink. I, on my hands, I teach preschool. <sighs> That's my reason for everything these days is I teach preschool. So here we have a Uni Jetstream, and this is a 0 0.7. This is not, it, I think the reason why I don't like ballpoint pens is because they all just look so like regular and basic. <laughs> Gel pens just seem so much cooler to me. I don't know. Here's a uni something in a 0 0.38. I believe all of these write black. That's nice. That's a nice finer tip. We have this pilot. I thought this was supposed to be. Did I get the? Wait, what did I get? Ballpoint, ballpoint, ballpoint. The clips. Yeah, these are all ballpoint. Okay. They don't look like ballpoints. All right, so then this is an Acroball, Pilot Acroball in a 05. This is, I don't know what color. I think it looks like it might be blue. No, none of them say, none of them say blue ink, so maybe. All right, Pilot, Acrobat, Ballpoint, yeah, black ink, okay. And the, ooh, this one's nice though. Um, Mitsubishi Boxy 100. That's, this is a cool looking pin. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's different. It is um, very square. <laughs> But it's cool. Then we have this ooh, Zebra Sarari, maybe, in a 05. 
And then this is a uni power tank in the zero seven. So I'm going to just do a quick pin test in my Hobonichi because I can't stop putting it down because I'm so excited. I wish it was time to use it. All right, so let's put that up there. We'll go to the back. But yeah, I've heard that the the ballpoint pens don't smear or smudge at all. So it'll just be whether or not I can find one that I actually want to use. So we'll start with this one, the Zebra BP. No smudging, but yeah, I don't like it. Let me zoom in. All right, there's a Zebra BP. Absolutely no smudging. So they were right, but mm, I just, I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. Here we have the Uni Power Tank. Oh, my nails look bad from this. Uh, Oh, sorry. Uni. Oh, no. Power tank. Oh, yuck. Also don't like it. Not going to happen. Ever, ever, never. <laughs> then we have the Pilot Acroball in the 05. Oh, now this one. Oh, that one smears. So this Pilot pin... It couldn't be ballpoint. It says it's ballpoint, but it couldn't be ballpoint. It doesn't even write like a ballpoint pen. It writes like a gel pen, but it's nice. I'm curious, I'm gonna see if I let it sit for a second, if it'll dry. Then here we have the Uni, it just says Uni, oh, Uni Jetstream. This also writes like a gel pen and oops sorry and there is a little smearing the pilot is not smearing anymore now that i've let it sit so yeah that one's okay then here we have the another uni jet why they gave me two uni jet streams one's a zero seven oh one's a zero point three eight Mm, still smearing so this one will definitely have to dry but it's not bad here is the pentel calm I, I keep wanting to call it like a call me <laughs> oh that's nice yeah i like that very 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 little smearing if at all that is definitely a keeper for sure. So I'm going to put this in the absolutely yes pile on the other side. All right, let's try this boxy 100. Oh, that's not bad. No smearing. So you know what? It's not It's not bad. It. I like it a little. It's, it's, I can deal with it. We'll put that in the maybe pile. The Zebra Sorari. I don't like it. Man, it smears. I don't like how it, I don't like how that one feels. All right, and then here's the Calm in the 07. Yeah, the 05 ink is definitely my favorite. The 7 smears very, 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 very little. And I think it's just obviously because it's a heavier... Oh, that blue is pretty. It's a heavier ink, obviously. Yeah, this is a nice multi-pen. That's nice. Because I feel like all of the colors write equally well. I just can't remember how to do it. Hmm. Okay. All of the colors write equally well. I like that. 
So the calm so far is my favorite. All right, and these are the ones that are absolute no's. So those are pins I'll just take to work. Because <laughs> I can always use work pins. And then the Zebra Sarasa Clips. Here is the... Ooh, ooh, that's so pretty. And I know these are going to, yeah, I know that was going to smear. They're going to have to definitely be, let let them dry. Because you can see the ink pulled up on them when you write. But the colors are gorgeous. And my handwriting is not always amazing, but it's even worse because, little known fact, I stand up when I film. <laughs> So, because I'm standing up and writing, it makes it even worse because I can't, like, really hunker down to make it look nicer. So, here we go. So, I love all of these. If you let them dry, they don't smear nearly as bad. Like, this one... I mean, I guess there's still like a teeny tiny bit of smearing. So to use these, I'll just have to know that I really have to let those dry very well before I write with them. And I may even just write with them on like other paper that I don't have to worry about it. But then here's the back. So you can see that there is obviously shadowing because that's just nature of the beast. But nothing actually like bled all the way through, which is great. All right, so anyway, these two are my absolute favorite, the Calms, and then the, I don't know, Uniball Signal is one that I just have. These two are my absolute favorites. These ones are, yeah, they're cool. I'll probably use them, maybe, maybe not, but I like them. These three here, going back, no, not going back, I'm kidding. They're going to school <laughs> because I would probably never actually use them in a planner. But these are planner, these are pens that I can let other people use. And then the Zarasa clips. So Rasa clips are gorgeous. I don't know if I'll use them in here again because I'm not very patient. And so sitting here waiting for them to dry would probably annoy me after a while. So um those will probably also be pins that I either take to school to use or pins that I just plan on using on different paper. Karina loves to plan. Thank you so much for these amazing stickers. I cannot wait to use them. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you for helping me get a little bit closer to 1K, which is my goal still to reach by the end of the year and i'm so 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 close so again if you have not already done so go ahead like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and let me know which pin and or sticker did you like the most i'm kind of curious and i love interacting with you guys in the comments so please leave comments so that we can talk and become friends follow me on instagram so that you can also see more behind the scenes of like my planner life. And I will catch you next time. Go ahead and check out the next video that YouTube recommends.